As the crowds cheered after Milos Raonic won his quarterfinal Wimbledon match, the young Canadian tennis star had one thing on his mind, how to beat his next opponent, Roger Federer. But the rest of the world was focused on something else, the fact that no other Canadian male singles tennis player had made it to the semifinals of a Grand Slam tournament in the open era. Everything I've done to this point, I want that just to be like a distant memory when I look back after my tennis career. But while Milos seems like an overnight sensation, the road has been long filled with sacrifices and hard work. The first of many sacrifices came from his family. His mom and dad decided when Milos was just a baby to move from Montenegro to Canada. That was a very hard decision. We had the whole family there. We came here. Everything is unknown. Uh, and uh, taking three kids who had everything over there, now starting from zero. It was not easy. Milos enjoyed playing many sports as a child, but for some reason, tennis was the one that stole his heart. When he was younger, any sport, he, anything he played, he was excellent. Everybody is noticing it. But the moment he took a racket and went to Blackmore Tennis Club, that was something that clicked and he loved that from, the, from day one. When Milos turned 18, he had another tough choice to make, go to university or try and turn pro. As the son of two engineers, his parents wanted him to get his education, but he had a different plan. The assistant coach, do you need uh, help moving your bags down? Uh, I, that's when I pretty much said, I have to make this decision now, and I said, no, I'm not doing it. He gave himself the goal of top 100 in the world. If he didn't reach that, he would go to school. Milos currently sits at number seven on the ATP Tour, the highest male-ranked Canadian singles tennis player in history. His next sacrifice came when he decided to move away from his life in Canada. I'm now spending time in Monte Carlo training. It's, I have nothing to worry about there other than tennis. And yeah, it's hard to be away from family and friends, but tennis is my life at this point and I want to do so much better at it than I have to this day. Already setting Canadian tennis records and reaching his highest ranking in the world of number six, Milos has accomplished so much in such a short period of time, but he's hungry for even more. What's the next step for you? Win the big tournaments. It's that simple. And the, um, probably the last six months I've developed the, the second nature for myself and the understanding that every tournament. So is Milos, the star who chose a tennis racket over a hockey stick, the new great Canadian athlete? It feels hollow to the point that there's so much more I want to do. So it's great to sort of maybe be getting that kind of appreciation, that kind of uh, acceptance already, but it feels like I haven't even scratched what I want to do. And as he prepares for his next Grand Slam, one thing sure hasn't changed, his love for the sport of tennis. I think it's, I'm probably enjoying it more I wouldn't say I love it more, I think I love it the same, but I'm enjoying it more because I'm closer to where I want to be. I'm closer, I feel, and within reach of becoming the best player in the world. From growing up in Thornhill, Ontario, to taking center stage at Wimbledon, Milos says there is still a long road ahead. More he wants to prove to this country, to the world, but most importantly, to himself. I'm Mia Gordon, and this has been a Sun News Special Report.